Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and have no idea what is happening, my name is Ivan and I solve puzzles. And today I want to show you an interesting puzzle. At least this puzzle is going to be interesting for me since I really enjoy solving maze-based puzzle. The name of today's puzzle is Lady Bird. It was designed by Robrecht Loash. Difficulty level of this puzzle is 9 out of 10 and the object is to remove one euro coin. Lady Bird is made of trespoy, which is pressed wood material and acrylic. And as you can see, it has two discs. There are two sliders on top, which you can move, and there is a pin on the end of each slider, which you have to move in order to uh, move the discs. And as you can see, there is a coin right here inside, and there is a cutout in acrylic piece. Uh, and this cutout is big enough so that you can remove the coin through it. So to solve the puzzle, you have to move all parts and to move the coin right here and to remove it through this cutout. So looks pretty simple, but uh, probably the solution is gonna be quite challenging and interesting as usually with Robert Loash puzzles. I've solved a couple of them before and they were really interesting. I think that this puzzle is gonna be great as well. If you like Ladybird puzzle and you want to buy it, I will put a link in the video description where you can do it. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the puzzle, keep watching the video. During this video, I will be comparing Ladybird to One Euro Labyrinth puzzle and Escape from Alcatraz. So if you don't want to spoil those two puzzles for yourself, stop watching the video right now. And now let's solve Ladybird puzzle. I'll start my stopwatch. So let's take a closer look. There is a coin, there is a cutout here, and there are two discs that I have to move. There are two parts that I have to move different way to move this metal pins and that's gonna help me to move both discs and then probably have to move them counterclockwise since this way it is just too close to be true so I have to move it counterclockwise and then remove the coin from this cutout but this puzzle might have a trick since for example one euro Labyrinth puzzle was a bit different. There was a cutout there, but I was able to remove the coin in a completely different uh, place. So here I don't see any other options. I hope it's not gonna fall out somewhere between two discs or somewhere else. Okay, let's try to move it. Now we are in starting position and let's move both discs and see what is going to happen. So now this way. Okay, probably it's pretty logical so far. And it even looks like I can move both discs at a time. That is quite interesting. Okay, but now I think this part becoming a little bit more difficult. Or maybe nope not difficult so far okay let's see i hope it's not going to be too easy so now this part one disc go forward another backwards and then you can keep moving them so pretty easy so far don't see any tricks don't see any dead ends and it seems like I will be able to solve it so quick. Okay, there is a dead end right here. So what is this? Was I too, too stupid at the very beginning and didn't try the easiest way and start solving it different way? Okay, let's try to move it a little bit more. No, there is no way that I can move this part. Oh, maybe. No, have no idea what, what can be different. And there is a dead end in a second disc as well. Okay, so let's try to move everything backwards and see what is gonna happen. Maybe I was just wrong in my prediction where I have to move the part to solve it. 
So now something is wrong. I don't know why, but I can't. Ah, okay. Have to move it this way. Nothing special so far. Okay. A little bit backwards. It's gonna be pretty interesting if I had just to go the clockwise and solve the puzzle so quick and so easy. But okay, this is the Robrecht puzzle. Probably there is a trick somewhere. Probably it was at the very end and I didn't realize it. Maybe I had to flip it upside down, for example. As it happened with both other puzzles by Robrecht, I've solved before. Okay, now I can't move this pin up and move this coin to the right. Okay. Yeah, there is supposed to be some kind of a trick here. Since now I can't move this part. Okay, maybe there is an option since I've tried to move them like syn synchronized both parts. Maybe I have to move, move them somehow different in a different way so that I will be able to, to find another option Another combination of top and bottom discs. Okay, let's see. Okay, that looks different, but I don't know if it is different enough. Okay, I have to move a little bit further. And nope, nope, not this way, okay. I have to find a combination where I will be able to move one part one way and another part will go different way. Now I can see only dead ends that don't help me to solve it at all. Okay, let's try here. Nope, still, still everything is the same. And pretty soon I will be at the very end where it's not gonna help me to solve the puzzle. Okay, maybe I have to figure out... Yeah, it was made on purpose such a... like a big way from one side to another. So probably somewhere at the end I will be able to... to find the way where to move each part. So probably this goes down here, right here, and now, nope. I wish I could stick this pin here, maybe it's, it could help me a little bit, but I don't see this option now, okay. So probably I have to find a place where it is possible to do. What if there is some kind of trick somewhere here at the very end. <gasps> okay. Ah, okay, I think that now it's gonna be possible to do something, no? Okay. That looks interesting. Let's try to move it all the way back. And probably this time I will be able to do something at the very end, okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think that this time I'm on the right way. And this part is quite easy since here I just have to move both parts at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that, that was... Nice, the coin is removed. Okay, it is 
eight minutes took me to figure out what is the trick of the puzzle. Now I have to stick it inside and put everything back. So let's start the stopwatch again and let's try to solve it again. So here this part was quite easy. I had just to move both parts synchronized like this and that was pretty easy. Yeah, probably the uh, solving it backwards gonna be much quicker since I know what is the trick already. And that's gonna be a bit easier. Okay, this part goes here now have to move both parts in different ways. This goes up. Yeah, this is the part where I can do the trick. Yep, and now I have to move, just move backwards. And that's it, and the puzzle will be solved both ways. And here is the part where it is quite easy to move both layers at the same time. Here is another little bit more difficult part, and I think yeah, I, I went a little bit too far. I have to go back a little bit. And probably that's it. Yeah, that's it. Puzzle is solved both ways. And that was my attempt to solve the Ladybird puzzle. At the first glance, I thought it's going to be quite easy to solve it. Just move both discs, move antennas with pins, and the puzzle will be solved. But when I went all the way to the end of the maze and nothing happened, I was a bit confused. Then I went all the way to the start and nothing happened again. I was a little bit more confused. But that's made me thinking and that's when I figure out that there is a trick involved in solving this puzzle and pretty soon I was able to find it. So great puzzle, uh, not a very difficult one, not an easy, something in the middle. So a great puzzle for beginners and it's going to be also interesting for uh, those of you who have a lot of experience in puzzle solving. So if you like Ladybird puzzle and you want to buy it, link is as always in the video description. And if you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. See you next time.